welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany of BrittanyJJones.com. If this is your first time joining me, welcome to the channel. I hope that you will like what you see. Give the video a thumbs up and then subscribe below for more. Today in this video, we're going to be sewing Simplicity 8178. This pattern has a jumpsuit with two leg options, a dress and a jacket. For the tutorial today, we're going to be sewing View A, which is the wide leg jumpsuit. Um, I can't tell you enough how much I love this jumpsuit. It's my first time making one, it's my first time making pants. So I was really excited about this jumpsuit that it was easy to follow along with and then it came together really fast. So if you're a beginner and you want to try a jumpsuit, definitely give this one a try. As far as notions, of course you will need your thread, but also grab some elastic because it does have an elastic casing. So once you have everything cut out, mark and notch, we can get started. All right, everybody, so the first step to sewing our jumpsuit is stay stitching. We need to put stay stitching around your bodice, neck edges for the front and back piece. I always recommend it to keep your pattern guide close by because it shows the arrows of which they want you to do the stay stitching. After you have the stay stitching done, you should have two notches that are at the top of the shoulder of your front bodice piece. Put some gathering stitches between those two notches. So as you can see here, I have my stay stitching done and I've already pulled up the gathering stitches on one shoulder. I have it pinned there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and lay my other front bodice piece. My um, front and backs are the same, but um, obviously lay yours up right sides facing. And then you just wanna pull up your gathering stitches like I'm doing here. Once you're done, go ahead and pin and then we can go ahead and sew down those shoulders. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and grab our neck facing piece, which is piece number three. We're gonna line up our notches and with right sides together, just gonna to put a pin in and then we're gonna stitch on the, no the notched edge. So go ahead and stitch that down. Once you have it stitched down, you wanna go ahead and fold it wrong sides together. Now I'm gonna um, finish mine a little bit different from what it is recommended in the pattern. The pattern recommends that you sew it on the right side of your fabric and then you'll flip it over and then sew it down on the wrong side. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be sewing it on the wrong side first, like I'm doing here. I'm gonna pin it to the wrong side and then flip it over, I'm trying to get my flip, <laughs> then flip it over to the right side and sew it down so I'll be able to see my stitch and get it really nice and clean like I like it. So you can choose to do it the way that um, instructions suggest, or you can follow along with me and go ahead and pin your facing piece to the wrong side of your jumpsuit neck edge. Go ahead and sew all the way around. Once you have it sewn down, see this is how it looks on the inside and I have it pressed facing toward the right side. Now this is the right side of my bodice. And I'm gonna fold that over and I'm gonna stitch really, really close to the edge to get a nice clean edge like I like. The next step, we are on step six and we can go ahead and sew down the side of our bodice. So go ahead and pin yours down and go ahead and stitch. The next step, we wanna go ahead and fold our armband in half and then you're gonna sew down the edge the same way we did the neckband. Once you have that sewn, you want to go ahead and fold it um, lengthwise, wrong side facing, the same exact way we did the neckband, and then go ahead and attach it the same way we did. It's the exact same steps. So you go ahead and do that, and then you want to fold the right um, side of your bodice over your left, line up the notches that are on the bottom, and put some basting stitches just to hold everything together while we're attaching the bottom. So now we'll go ahead and put our bodice to the side. Go ahead and grab your bottom, and then we're going to stitch the front to back at the inner seam. So you wanna stitch from the top all the way down at the inner seam only. After you have your inner leg seam sewn, you wanna go ahead and um, lay your pieces right side facing, line up your notches as well as your seam, and then you wanna sew the crotch. Right here I have everything pent and I'm gonna sew it down. The next step, you want to go ahead and start attaching your pockets. So go ahead and line your pockets right sides facing, line up the dots, the dots and the notches. Um, before I always sew my pockets, I go ahead and finish them around the edge. It makes it so much easier for me. Um, so now that everything is pent, I'm gonna sew 3 eighths of an inch away and sew my pockets down. Once you have those sewn, you wanna go ahead and lay it right sides together 
and then you're going to start sewing at the top and then you're going to go to the first dot and back stitch lift up your presser foot and needle go to the second dot finish down the remainder of the leg and then sew your pocket closed after you have your pockets and the size of your pants sewn down you want to go ahead and flip your pockets toward the front and then just put a basting stitch around i'm sorry across the top of it so I'm putting a couple pins in right now, as you can see, and I'm just gonna run a basting stitch just to hold my pocket toward the front. So while I'm sewing, it doesn't shift toward the back. So now once you have all that done, you wanna go ahead and put your bodice um, into your pants, right side facing. Go ahead and line up your notches, dots, and side seams. Then you wanna go ahead and stitch all the way around in a 7 8 of an inch seam allowance. So go ahead and do that now. So now you can see that I went ahead and finished off my edge. Now I'm just gonna keep mine like that and then sew my casing. Um, but if you didn't um, finish your edges, you don't want to, of course you can fold in like I'm doing here and then just stitch really close to the edge. Just remember though to leave an opening for your elastic. So now that you have everything finished, you can go ahead and um, find your opening Grab your elastic, clip it onto a safety pin, and then feed it through your casing. Once you have it through, you wanna go ahead and lap it over and sew it down like I have here. Once it's sewn down, go ahead and distribute your elastic, close up your opening, and then once you sew that down, you're almost home free. The last step for you to do would be to hem your pants, and then you are all done with your jumpsuit. All right, everybody, so that is all for the video. I would put the jumpsuit right here, but it's actually in the wash right now. I wore it yesterday, so my bad, but you will see some photos of it in just a second. But again, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them for me below. I will be more than happy to answer. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Blessings, everyone. Bye.